welcome to Comms Business Live. My name is David Dungate, editor of Comms Business Magazine, and we are here at Jitex 2019. I'm here with the CEO of Avaya, Jim Chirico. Thank you for joining me. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing well, David. Thank you very much. Brilliant. There's a lots of news that has come out this week around the Avaya camp. What's going on? The big news, uh, Ring Central, to deal there. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, why did this deal come about? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, it's, the logic is pretty sound, right? I mean, they're the uh, world leader in UCAS multi-tenant. Avaya did not have a multi-tenant solution for the unified communication space in the cloud. So it's, a, it's a, a natural fit, for lack of a better term. Our customers, for the last couple of years, have been asking us time and time again, hey guys, can you please get a UCAS multi-tenant solution? We need it to fulfill our customers' uh, demands. And if there's anything you can do, please, please see what you can do to get a product. And, and frankly, that's that's why we formed this strategic partnership. What's, what's the exciting thing for you about this uh, new partnership? Well, you know, it's uh, it's exactly that a partnership, which is really exciting. So we're going to co-develop products. The products are going to be differentiated, i.e., unique UI uh, UX for Avaya. Uh, we will make sure that the interoperability uh, is all Avaya, and it's going to be very seamless for our install base, who actually has Avaya gear out there. So it'll be uh, frictionless from a commerce perspective, uh, and that we'll be able to transition if our customers want to the cloud. So opening up part of your base to, to Ring Central, so this is quite an innovative deal. Um, you know, what potentially is Avaya giving up or not giving up as part of this? Yeah, I would look at it as actually Avaya is gaining and equally as important our customers are gaining. What do I mean by that? We have 100 million UC seats out there. Roughly a third of those are under maintenance contracts today, so we have a very large unmonetized base. So now we have an opportunity to have a, get revenue as we monetize and convert that base over to Avaya. Secondly, we're controlling the whole customer relationship, the whole life cycle from, from end to end. So Avaya is doing the services, Avaya is doing the selling, it's gonna be a, a branded Avaya solution. So again, it's Avaya from beginning to the end of the, uh, the end of the process. And equally as important is now we're gonna have a product that we can sell through the master agent network. So we'll be able not only to uh, provide a solution for our current customers, but also we'll be able to compete head to head with a number of the peer plays uh, that are out there today. So uh, exciting opportunity. Okay, so the big question for readers of comms business is what does this mean for the channel, your, your channel partners? And what would you like to say to those, those guys, a lot of them around the yeah, world, what yeah. does this mean for them? Well, it, it provides optionality, frankly. I mean, if they're selling Ring, then they should continue to sell Ring. But they have a very large install base of Avaya customers that have been looking for a solution and really do not want to bring in a, a, another vendor into their infrastructure. Now they don't need to. Now they can sell the Avaya uh, Cloud Office product set. They'll also be part of our Edge program. So there'll be you know, rewards and incentives to, to continue to build upon our, our channel programmatics that will help our partners make some additional money as well. And then equally as important, it's, it's seamless and frictionless for, for them as well. So we're just adding an Avaya solution to their offer base. Okay, so, um, part of this deal, uh, some rumors in the market that this deal was a little bit around getting some investors uh, are happy from post chapter 11. Um, you know, what does this mean for them? Does this give you a bit more breathing room? Well, I don't know about breathing room, but you know, there were three objectives that we set out to do when we started this strategic process uh, earlier this year. First and foremost is we wanted to get technology that we didn't have in our portfolio, right? That's first and foremost. Secondly is we did want to return shareholder value. That's why we're, we're in business. And the third thing is we wanted to deliver the balance sheet, right? So there are three main objectives. Obviously partnering with the leader in, uh, in, in uh, UCAS Cloud Solutions with Ring Central checks the first box. We're gonna now buy back $500 million worth of shares which is a significant amount of our share base, as, as you know, and we're taking $250 million off, off the balance sheet. So we were able to check all three boxes, which uh, was what we wanted to do in the out, on the onset. Okay. Is there any potential maybe for a further collaboration with Ring Central down the line, do we think? Yeah, you know, th this announcement was all around, you know, obviously the multi-tenant UCAS solution, but yeah, I mean, you never know. So as an example, which hasn't been broadly announced, Ring Central is qualifying our, our devices. Ring Central will be selling our devices. So Ring Central will in essence be a channel now for our endpoints on their Ring Office platform. 
So that's obviously extremely important to us and important to Ring. So, you know, you never know, uh, but we'll see where this goes. And, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time with Vlad over the past uh, number of uh, months. And, uh, you know, both teams are excited. In fact, as soon as we close the deal, we have joint development teams that'll, that'll hit the ground running. We'll get qualified on each other's products. So, you know, we're, we're excited about the opportunity that's in front of us. Um, I've done a number of channel checks with, with our partners in, as well. And I can tell you, they're, they're very excited. They, they can't wait to get an Avaya branded product that they can go sell into their install base and they can maintain those customers, they can support those customers. So I think the excitement is uh, is certainly uh, founded. It uh, should be a great opportunity for both companies. I think the market will be watching closely. We're all uh, excited to see what happens. Yeah. So we're here in Dubai for, yeah. for Jitex. You know, this is a significant market for us. What's exciting about uh, this part of the world for you right now? Oh, it's, it's actually, uh, it kind of pulls the rest of the market through. Uh, you know, this is our one of our largest events. It's uh, We just started our fiscal year 2020 on the 1st of October, so it's the first time we can showcase our new technologies, um, which are actually kind of game-breaking and certainly uh, extremely innovative. So it gives us an opportunity to get feedback from our customer base. It enables us, as I said, to showcase our, our new products. And, and, and this region has always been one that has been been leading from an adoption of, of uh, innovation in our in our new products. So it's it's really great to get back here every year. Jim, thank you very much for joining me. Yep, thank you, David. And thank you for watching. You've been watching Coms Business Live. My name's David Dungay. Thanks for tuning in.